Why buy Apple's Magic Trackpad when you already own an iPad? And if you can't figure out which trackpad software to use, don't sweat it. I'm here to help. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by the national fight against drunk driving. Over the limit, under arrest. Who wants to spend Labor Day in jail? Welcome to App Judgment, your source for premier mobile applications, reviews, and news. I'm Mauricio Balvanera. So you have yourself an iPad, and one day you think to yourself, hmm, 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 yeah, right? I mean, think about it. The iPad is the perfect touch peripheral to your existing computer, and three applications out there agree. Remote Pro by Regular Rate and Rhythm Software, Touchpad by Adobe, and Mobile Mouse by RPA Tech. There's no point in downloading all three, so let's decide which is best by feeling them up. That came out wrong. Touchpad, the simplest of the three, also has an elegant solution to the task of connecting directly to your computer. It uses VNC in your screen sharing settings instead of asking you to install a server software. Once connected, you've got yourself a large touchpad capable of point, click, double click, two finger right click, click and drag, two finger scrolling, pinch to zoom, four finger application switching, and four finger expose. Now that pretty much covers all of Magic Trackpad functions for just $5. Bonus points for a keyboard, utility tools, and iTunes and front row remote. All right, very cool, but my mother told me to shop around, so let's get to touching Remote Pro. The word touching here is appropriate, don't give me that look. All right, the first thing you're gonna wanna do with Remote Pro is install their Remote Helper software. This is the computer side software that's gonna enable the app to connect to your computer via Wi-Fi and interpret plenty of bonus features you'll find as soon as you open up the app. Party trackpad in the middle and all sorts of business along the edges, this is the mullet of trackpads. If the trackpad here is too small for you, not an issue. Go full screen and even color outside the lines. Remote gives you point, click, double click, two finger right click, click and drag, two finger scrolling, and pinch to zoom. Now the application button gives you instant access to media apps plus your entire application. Ooh. All right, we're gonna get touchy-feely with one more app and make final judgment, but before we do, let me get touchy-feely with our sponsor. Come here, you sponsor you. Let's hug it out. Far too many people do not understand that alcohol, drugs, and driving do not mix. The message is simple, guys. Drinking and driving, over the limit, under arrest. And don't put yourself or others in danger. Law enforcement officials will be out in force all over the country from August 25th through September 6th, cracking down on drunk drivers. Beyond putting your life at risk, you could cost yourself a bundle of time and money. Jail time, the loss of your driver's license, higher insurance rates, and dozens of other unanticipated expenses from attorney fees, other fines and court costs, car towing and repairs, lost time at work, it just goes on and on. The worst and best part of drinking and driving is that it can be avoided so easily. You can still go out and have fun, just plan ahead. If you're going to drink, designate a driver, call a taxi, use mass transit, or find some kind of sober ride program. Personally, I just use the Muni app here in San Francisco that tells me when the next Muni train is coming. No need to drive. I just time it out perfectly so I can just jump on the train and head back home. Don't drink and drive, people. All right, let's fondle one more app. Yes, I think like a pervert. I can't help it. I make porn. Check out Unboxing Porn if you want to compare the three apps in today's episode to Apple's new Magic Trackpad. All right, on to Mobile Mouse by the same makers of Air Mouse Pro, which Stephanie Chu gave you a peek at a while back. Again, you'll need computer-side server software to run this app, a free download, of course. Once connected, you have a pretty elegant integrated interface here. You'll immediately notice your dock at the bottom, your trackpad space, and keyboard, internet, and iTunes functions up top. You've got the same point, click, drag features as Remote Pro, as well as two virtual mouse buttons down below for easier left and right click. Now, before I tell you who my pick is, let's break down the reasonings for my choice. Touchpad, which we looked at first, is a simple, unbloated trackpad and mimics all the functions available on Apple's Magic Trackpad. 
A simple interface plus no need to install software on your computer makes this a good choice for you minimalists out there. My only complaint is that, ironically, churning on VNC in your settings takes a little more time and skill than simply launching an app. Nitpicky, I know, but true. Now, Remote Pro is feature-rich and the perfect companion to a media center as it's obviously molded for a lean-back entertainment computing experience. My only complaint is the interface is a bit jumbled and the connection is a tad jittery. Mobile Mouse is a slick hybrid between the two with a phenomenal user interface. It's intuitive, it's clean, and it's the cheapest at $299, and it's the just right porridge to my Goldilocks of trackpads. Download this app. But I have to say, the other two apps in the showdown weren't slackers. Touchpad won me over with expose and app switching functionality, and Romo Pro might be your best choice for your media center. It's a win-win-win. Now, if someone will just go and make me a trackpad app with customizable buttons for my StarCraft habit, I will love you and put a ring on it and raise your children. All right, if you have any other suggestions for any apps you want us to review, email us at appjudgment at revision3.com. Also, check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and at our homepage at revision3.com slash appjudgment. I'll see you guys soon.